Hey guys, this is Adrian and I um, wanted to do a quick video uh, highlighting some uh, items for the uh, Rogue Friday, uh, which is uh, actually uh, coming up this evening. Uh, today is the 29th. Uh, Toys R Us will kick everything off uh, at midnight uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so I will be out there uh, at midnight Eastern Standard Time uh, at my local Toys R Us. So again, I wanted to highlight a couple of items um, that uh, maybe you haven't uh, thought about uh, in regards to uh, your uh, haul that you're going out tonight with. Um, so uh, I wanted to highlight a couple of those items. Now, of course, uh, we all know about the Rogue One uh, Black Series line from Hasbro uh, that has been highlighted in several different videos. Um, so I'm not gonna really focus on those particular items because I'm sure all of us are aware of those items. Uh, a couple of other lines that I uh, probably will not focus on in this video um, is going to be the uh, Pop Fuko uh, line and uh, of course uh, Lego uh, as well. Now uh, the reason that I won't be focusing on those two lines is um, those are two lines that I uh, don't collect uh, particularly. Uh, there may be a couple of items uh, from those two lines that you may see me uh, collect sometime down the line, um, but for the most part uh, I only collect uh, Hasbro, uh, Hot Toys, and a few other uh, lines. Uh, for instance, the uh, SH Figure Arts uh, figures. Um, I have a couple of those uh, figures in, in my uh, Star Wars collection. So um, I, there is some variety, but the uh, two most popular lines that you probably will not see fe featured on this channel uh, will be the uh, Pop Fuko and the uh, Lego lines. Uh, I'm just not too big on those two particular lines uh, when it comes to Star Wars. So uh, let's get a look at some of these uh, items that I uh, again mentioned that uh, you probably haven't thought about uh, on your haul here this evening. So let's get a look at those images, guys. All right, guys. So uh, first up, we have the uh, Rebel Snap Tight Build and Play Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, this uh, model uh, comes with battle action sound, detail light up engines, and eight positionable gun turrets. Uh, so um, I think this is a, a, a exciting new item uh, from Rebel uh, for those uh, collectors who are in the models. Um, I think this is going to be a very good pickup. Um, it will be available uh, on Rogue Friday. Um, I saw it available at uh, uh, Toys R Us will most definitely have this, and I believe uh, Target is also going to have this available for you guys. Um, obviously, depending on where you're at, uh, cost will vary. Um, uh, out here in California, things tend to be a bit more expensive than other, other areas, so uh, good for you, bad for me. So uh, let's take a look at the details uh, of this particular item, and I'm going to pull those up for you guys right now. All right, guys, so uh, getting a look at the description, and if you want to read the full description, you can uh, most definitely uh, pause the video uh, and get a good uh, read of the full descriptions on this model uh, kit. Um, but as I had mentioned, uh, it does have the battle action sound, detailed light up engines, and the eight positionable uh, gun turrets, which I think is really exciting. Uh, most definitely, this is going to be on my list. All right, guys, so um, this next item is the uh, Rebel Snap Tight Imperial ATACT Cargo Walker. Um, now, this item uh, again comes with battle action sound. Uh, it does have a full motion positionable head, uh, it also has positionable feet uh, and joints uh, for great uh, posing uh, of the figure. Uh, and it also has a light up command cockpit uh, as well. All right, guys, and here's the second image of the uh, AT ACT cargo walker uh, from the uh, other uh, side of the walker. Uh, this looks more like a composite drawing. I'm probably sh sure that both uh, uh, pictures there are uh, some composite drawing of the, uh, uh, of the uh, model uh, and not the actual model itself, but uh, Still uh, a very good looking figure. Uh, so let's get a look at the details on this item right here, guys. All right, guys. So um, again, here are the uh, description and details uh, of the ATACT Cargo Walker by Rebel uh, Snap Tight 
uh, build and play. Um, again, if you want to take a, a, a read the uh, description, uh, please feel free to pause the video uh, and read over the full description. I'm not going to go over everything in detail, uh, but as you can see, uh, it has a pretty good length, uh, a little over eight inches in length, uh, a little over two inches in width, and a little over uh, seven inches in height. Pretty decent uh, scale. Uh, again, you have the battle action sound, full motion, positionable head, uh, positionable feet. Uh, multi-joint positionable legs for display and then again the lighted command cockpit for display so uh, again another intriguing um, model uh, that you might consider picking up uh, during your haul on uh, Rogue Friday uh, most definitely this will be in my uh, in my car all right guys so um, here uh, we have the uh, Rebel U-Wing um, snap type build and play uh, again um, this item comes with the uh, battle action and sound, uh, also has the light up cockpit and uh, rotating wings. Uh, anyone who's not familiar with this vehicle, uh, those uh, two uh, long wings that extend out to the front actually uh, rotate to the back, uh, which actually gives the uh, vehicle a really cool look. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, any uh, of the uh, pictures of that, uh, of this, vehicle with those wings in that position is really cool. Uh, also has the uh, removable uh, landing gear. Now this is a, a really cool uh, model uh, once again by Revel. Um, my only problem uh, with this uh, particular model uh, or this vehicle here uh, is the scale uh, of this vehicle. Um, there is a video uh, on actually each one of these uh, vehicles uh, uh, from Revel. Uh, on YouTube, and I will link those uh, 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 link those in the description here uh, on the video, so you can actually take a look at, at those videos uh, and see the the true scale um, as it appears. And I think in each video, there's a child uh, playing with each vehicle, and you can see what that scale looks like in a child's hand. Um, and this vehicle uh, inside of a child's hand, it looks extremely small. Uh, and I, that is a huge issue that I have, not only with this model, but the Hasbro uh, uh, one that's uh, also coming out uh, this evening or, or uh, tomorrow, the 30th, if you will. Um, I just think that the, the scale on each one of these is not what I'm looking for. I'm huge uh, on scale. Uh, it just has to look right. But uh, again, this is a very nice model. Um, I, I actually probably will, uh, I'm not so much bothered by the scale of this scale on this model because it does come with the uh, light up features on it. So th this may end up in my cart this evening. Uh, more than likely it will end up in my cart this evening because the, the scale on this doesn't bother me as much as it does on the Hasbro um, uh, version. So uh, we're going to take a look at the description on this particular item as well. All right, guys, so once again, here's a description on the uh, U-Wing uh, snap tight uh, build and play. Um, so, you know, again, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice vehicle. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I do like it. it. It probably will end up in my basket, um, but as you can see, um, the, the length is 11 uh, inches, width is uh, a little over three. Uh, the height is a little, a little over uh, an inch, uh, just about two inches. Uh, on height. So uh, for someone who may be into scale, um, not really what I'm looking for uh, as far as scale. I hope they come out with a large scale uh, model or uh, perhaps Hasbro will come with a large scale uh, of this vehicle with a vehicle uh, with a proper uh, cargo hole. Um, I also wanted to uh, show the picture here and I'm going to move this just over a bit. Um, there, uh, for those who haven't seen uh, this vehicle with the wings uh, rotated towards the back, um, uh, obviously the uh, image there uh, is what it looks like uh, with the wings rotated towards the back. So uh, again, very cool looking vehicle. One of my favorite vehicles from uh, Rogue One. Um, that, and, and obviously we haven't seen them all uh, yet, but th this is um, one of my early favorites. Um, just not into uh, the scale uh, on this vehicle. I, I just don't think they've done it justice, justice yet. 
All right, guys, so here's an uh, oldie but goodie, uh, a favorite, uh, which is obviously the Falcon. Um, and uh, this is also from Revel. Uh, it is also a snap tight uh, build and play. Um, I, and I believe this isn't uh, new, I don't believe. I, I could be wrong. Um, uh, I believe this may have uh, come out uh, this past year or maybe the year prior, um, but still uh, a very good uh, model uh, that you might want to pick up on. Uh, all right, guys, so here's a, a quick look at uh, the description uh, on this item. Um, with this particular item, unfortunately, there is no uh, light up features uh, um, uh, or anything of that nature, um, but still a very cool vehicle. Um, decent size, uh, a little over 14 uh, inches there, a total of 85 parts uh, to put together. Uh, but again, it is a uh, snap tight uh, that that's, uh, basically has a, a very quick and easy assemble, uh, assembly. Um, so uh, again, a, a, another must have for any uh, Star Wars collector, especially if you're into uh, Star Wars vehicles. All right, guys, that's gonna complete part one of our pre-Rogue Friday toy review. Uh, I'm gonna have part two up in just the next hour, uh, so I'll see you then.